this one's going to be pretty short because there's not an awful lot to say. It's a fantastically produced movie. It looks gorgeous. The acting is amazing right from the leads through the entire cast to the least featured extra. Everyone is spot on. The production values are perfect. Everything looks, feels, practically smells exactly right. And let me tell you, Morgan Freeman becomes Nelson Mandela for this film. If he doesn't quite become him, he comes as close as any human being could possibly come to becoming him. Now, as far as I understand it, the reason this particular event was chosen as the focus of a film about Nelson Mandela, such an iconic figure, was quite simply, there's way too much story to tell to do a full biopic. I mean, we're talking decades of history. He spent almost three decades in a prison cell. There would be far too much to cover in just a single movie. They had to focus the movie onto one specific event. And as far as I understand from IMDb, Nelson Mandela himself very much agreed that the World Cup of 95 in rugby would be ideal. Now, I'm going to try to address the two main concerns that I can imagine arising with this being the plot. Is it a Hollywood movie? And is it a sports flick? The answer to both questions is yes and no. Yes, it is somewhat romanticized, and it doesn't show what was done to Mandela terribly much. It starts right after he's been released. However, it's not a film about revenge, and it's not really a film about what happened to him as much as what he does. Now, I don't think anybody's going to argue that part of what makes him such an inspiration is what was done to him in addition to what he did. But this one is entirely focused on what he did. His insistence on forgiveness and not revenge. And the film communicates this beautifully. So yes, to an extent, it is Hollywood, it is mainstream, it's accessible, anyone can sit down and watch this, and very few are going to walk away having missed the point. It is immensely well communicated, and it's done without any real manipulation of the audience. This has some humor to lighten the mood, and it works pretty well. And the other issue, yes, to an extent, this is a sports movie, there's plenty of footage of rugby games, as well as other things that you would expect from a sports movie. However, just like in the real event, it's not about the sports, it's not about the games, it's about unification and equality. Now, while I am a big fan of Clint Eastwood, and not only for his directing, I do admit that he has made mistakes. Blood work was average at best, and I'm not making any excuses for the rookie. I can hardly be claimed to be a sports fan. I tend to be critical of any movie that claims historical accuracy. And unless it entertains me, challenges me, or surprises me, I'm generally not into Hollywood movies. And with all that said, I love this movie. Eastwood. Please keep directing as long as you have the capacity and inclination. If the aim of a biopic is to reveal the essence of the person that it is about, I would say this succeeds. That's it for this one. I hope you enjoyed it. See you next time.